Hello, welcome to our studio. Hello. Your speech at Terena Networking Conference uh, was according to the governance of the internet and the battle for this governance. So my qu first question is, why do we need global regulations for the governance of the internet? I don't think we need global regulation. <laughs> that was my point, actually, during the speech. Uh, and actually, the, the ITRs, the International Telecommunications Regulation I was talking about, that was up on the agenda for the, for the World Conference on International Telecommunications in, in Dubai in December, it was actually not supposed to be about the internet at all. Um, the former regulation that was uh, revised 1988 was more telecommunication regulation. And uh, so when it's going to be revised, and when it was revised in December, it was not from, from our mine or our point of view going to cover internet at all. So the answer, the answer on your question is no, we don't need it. And actually it's because of the case that we have electronic communication regulation in, in Europe and, and in, in my country, in Sweden and in many other countries on a national level, the global system for that sense is, is, not, is not that necessary. But on the other hand, I mean, internet is a part of, of, of the society, so to speak. So the, the, the regulation we have for crime or whatever is relevant on the internet as well. So you don't need to have a special internet regulation for that part. Yes, but it seems that there are um, many organizations who want to, to uh, change the regulations. So is there a good platform for a dialogue? Well, not really, I have to say. Uh, on many national levels, for instance, in Sweden, we have a good cooperation with business sector. I mean, the, actually, the, the operators or the responsible really running the internet in Sweden. And, and of course, that takes place also in other countries. So, so that, that dialogue is, is, is good. But, but for this particular ITU system, which is not going to be about the internet, <laughs> well, what's not supposed to be about the internet, I don't think there is so good platforms right now for that typical discussion. On the other hand, there are global platforms like the Internet Governance Forum that takes place once a year, that we can have whatever discussion around the internet, developing things, we can, you know, capacity building stuff, technical issues and so on. So that is a very good platform for having dialogue about these things, I think. So so, so it depends what, what kind of discussion you're pointing at, but... Um, well. Uh, what are the wrong examples of uh, atoms of uh, controlling internet by the governments of, of particular countries that you encountered? Well, for if, if I just take one example that I mentioned a little bit uh, on my, in my speech was this names and numbering, and having some kind of control over that one. I mean, that is also, it's already a system, a process working. I mean, we have the RIRs, the, the regional internet re registries that take care of that and, and, and the operators or whomever, the government or whomever agencies can, can apply for, for IP addresses and there's a process for that one. So, so, so that is something you don't need to have control over. And if it is the case to have ideas about the policy, the IPv6 uh, address policy, for instance, you can go to the RIR meetings and, and participate and be active in the working groups. So, um, and there are other, other well, there were other proposals actually coming up with, uh, around the internet with the routing and these kind of things, but, but it's, it's, uh, it, this is not the, 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 the role of the government to take part. This is the day-to-day -day operation of things. Of course, there are like, you know, public policy issues because of internet and the development that are of interest for the governments, but that's another thing. So you have to really be, be careful on what, what you mean with controlling and what you mean with governance and what area you're going into. So, uh, how do you think uh, the goals should be achieved or can be achieved in the current situation? Well, I think, well, the whole process around regulation, for instance, uh, need to be more open. Um, I mean, the EID proposed regulation f from the EU so that, that I mentioned in my speech is one thing. I, I am not sure, and I, maybe I'm wrong, but, but <laughs> I'm not sure the dialogue be, between different stakeholders, other stakeholders, were actually... Yes, because what you said in your speech, that uh, they were all behind closed door, right? Yeah, well, not well, particularly not the EU all, Commission. The EU Commission has a good dialogue, but mm -hmm. in this particular case, I think the dialogue would have been better. Uh, 
and so they, I mean there has to be more transparency in the processes and of course there have to be more dialogue I mean that's that takes that needs to take place in place in much more more areas and then uh, and much more well better platforms so to speak perhaps during next arena conference yes next arena conference I hope so I mean I don't see so many uh, other stakeholders ISP is here and so on because we have a lot of mutual interests in what's happening on the internet arena there we I mean the Enrons are a part of that so uh, we have many similar problems so I think the dialogue could be better but on the other hand as I have to say that I'm just a new CEO for the Swedish University Network since February so I have a lot to learn so maybe there's stuff going on and dialogues taking place that I'm not aware of okay thank you for the interview thank you very much